So I wanted to talk about the crossing. Now we're four episodes in, and I think we're starting to get an idea. We don't know exactly. We're starting to get an idea of what the big reveal is going to be and which direction the show is going to go. Because here's what we know: we know the people that washed up on the shore, the people from the future. They believe the story that they're telling. Now, they could all be lying and it could be this coordinated effort, but it doesn't seem that way at all. It seems pretty clear they all believe in the story. Now, what is that story? The story is just short of 200 years in the future. There's this advanced genetically engineered, that's important, genetically engineered beings that are called Apex. They hate all humans. They call them common, commons. And they created this, this disease called the mantle virus. And this disease, it's contagious and they're using it to wipe out and exterminate all commons, and then any that escape the disease, they hunt them down and kill them as well. And I should say, I don't know if it's a virus, you've never heard it referred to as that, we've always heard it referred to as disease. So anyways, if that story is true, and we're told that these apex beings, they have no compassion, no empathy, if the story is true, it begs the question, the elite in this future society, did they evolve into these apex beings themselves? So whoever was in power, did they do the genetic engineering on themselves or people within their own little clique? Or did they create this separate apex being race to try to use them as super soldiers, use them as slaves or something, and then you had the slaves turning against the masters? So that's the immediate question. But I think there's an even bigger twist that we're going to get that's actually apex rather than them being in control in the future they're actually the rebels and there's just propaganda so the people that wash up and came from the future they believe in the story they do but it's actually not the true story at all and apex didn't come up with the virus they're actually the cure and when they go around and people think that they're hunting down commons that are survivors what they're actually trying to do is help help save people and we get some evidence for this when we see reese in the future they're looking for commoners seems like they're hunting them and they see all these dead people and they're infected or they they died from mantle's disease and reese's partner the other apex says mantle's disease shame they didn't find a cure now you can interpret this two ways one is just being a dick and he's just saying yeah it's too bad they're not smart like us couldn't find a cure or you could interpret this as kind of wistful and him him being kind of remorseful and saying, God, what a shame that the one people that could cure you, this one group that could cure you because of propaganda by the people who are actually responsible for the disease, you won't trust them and you run and flee whenever we try to come in and help. And if these apex beings really are the solution to this epidemic, what better way to make sure they're not able to stop this epidemic than convincing the entire population that actually this group is the evil group responsible for all your misery. And don't get me wrong, we see examples of apex beings act very ruthless and very cold, but you can interpret that as them just being practical and saying, look, it's, it's post-apocalyptic, we're in this dystopian fight for our lives, we're this persecu persecuted minority, we can't afford to be compassionate, we have to be very militaristic to stave off global anni uh, annihilation. And then also you can say, well, maybe they are genetically bred to not have great compassion, but is that really their fault? Maybe that's just the way they were designed, and nonetheless, we have to work with them, and we see there are examples of individuals who can overcome maybe their, their programming to not be compassionate, like we see with Reese. Now, I'm not sure how the time travel aspect would fit with his interpretation, because what seems clear is it's the commoners, or at least it's not Apex, that is responsible for the time travel, that is doing the time travel, it's definitely the people that Apex is working against. So that would seem to indicate that Apex is happy with the future because whoever's trying to go back in time, usually they're the ones who have some kind of kind of problem with how things ended up. So it's unclear why. What is clear is that there have been a bunch of groups going back because when we hear Craig, now he's the evil head of Homeland Security, not the head, one of the people at Homeland Security, He's talking to someone above him and he's saying, look, there's, I think, 50,000 refugees in America right now in all these detention camps. He says hundred hundreds of de detention camps. Now, that's not actually true. So that would seem to imply that either this alternate reality has some other kind of crisis, but much more likely all these refugees, they're actually time travelers from the future who may be unlike this group. Actually, they didn't say this. They didn't come up with a story about oh the, how they're from the future. So they just came up with a better story. They said oh we're you know we're refugees from this conflict or that conflict. So all these 
all these kind of sleeper cells, all these people from the future just waiting to be activated and do something. And the people who washed up on the beach, they seem to genuinely believe that the people who told them to travel through time, they have their best interests at heart. And you see Paul, he has his wife, who is probably just the person who was their leader and told them to do this, and he says, look, we came here, go find her, she'll know what to do, and then we see the Fed, um, Emma, she actually goes and finds this person, and it turns out that she's actually working with Craig. Now, she was most likely the person last episode we heard Craig say, look, what are we going to do with these refugees? And she says, look, we can't help them, you know, they're on their own. So he, Paul, he seems to think this woman... She, at the very least, is looking out for them, is going to help them, when really she doesn't care about them at all. So again, I think you have a situation where the commoners and Apex are actually on the same side, but whoever's the real antagonist, the real bad guys, they're trying to divide and conquer and make them think that they're enemies, when really the real enemy is, uh, is Craig and whoever he's working with. And then Caleb, first of all, that tattoo that he has and the henchmen of Craig have, that doesn't seem like something a persecuted minority and resistance group would get. One, because it identifies you as a member of that, that resistance group. So no, it seems much more like something that those in power would get as a kind of sign of their, their dedication to the cause and, and their ruthlessness. And when he says she did what she had to do, talking about, what's her name, like Heather, talking about what, what Heather did, it seems like he was kind of talking about himself a bit, that he didn't actually want to kill Apex, he didn't actually want to be a part of this group that he has a tattoo of, but he did it because he felt like he had to do it for whatever reason. So again, it gives the idea that, that whoever has these tattoos, that's the real antagonist of the season rather than Apex. And I think I said Heather. I don't know why. I know it's Hannah. Last thing I'll talk about, Jude. What happened to him in Oakland? We don't know. Now, I don't know if it's connect to time travel shenanigans, but from what we can tell, he was a cop. He testified against a really bad person and then that bad person told his friends who he may be sent to jail to target him, to target his family, so that's why he had to leave. So again, whether it's going to be just run-of-the-mill um, American gangster stuff or whether it's going to be actually some kind of weird stuff about the future, it's unclear. And I will say the name of the show, The Crossing, it's interesting, a show that came out recently called Counterpart where there were two different parallel worlds, parallel realities, and The Crossing was this kind of bridge you could travel to get one from the other. So it's just interesting that they called the show The Crossing rather than The Machine. You know, like a time machine. So I don't know if that's any kind of hint or they just think Crossing sounds cool. But it'll be interesting to see um, if that comes into play in more of a major way going forward.